Well hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build this Hobby Lobby. I hope that you all enjoy this video and if you do, please hit that like. And now let's go ahead and get building. Alright now something real quick before we start this tutorial. I'm on the PS4 using the high definition texture pack. As always I gotta explain, use the same color as I use close as possible. The colors are a little bit more important than the texture itself. Now if you do not have the high definition texture pack, again use the colors close as possible what I'll be using. These are the main blocks that I'll be using in this build. And it's going to be along the bottom of the build some stone bricks. I'll also be using the smooth red sandstone. You guys can use either, you know, like regular brick. That will work as well. This is the brown wool. You guys can use sand or, or sandstone, something of this color. I'll also be using the white terracotta. Something that's a little bit off of a white color like a creamy white I guess you would say so this color here also white concrete I'll be using the smooth quartz stairs and also the smooth quartz slab the black stained glass and of course the orange concrete for the letters across the front alright now this Hobby Lobby was a request from a subscriber and as you see it's not going to be a very big build so what we're going to do right here off the front we're going to start on this corner right over here and we'll be using the stone bricks alright now let me go ahead and come right over here and this is 40 I went ahead and placed signs down just to kind of help out as I count so right here at the very front of the build all the way to the right side you're gonna go ahead and do three down and three across this way. This be the front corner. And then a left of that right here going this way will be 40 blocks. So right here going left, 40 blocks. Alright, so right there is 40. Okay, now what you're gonna need to do is grab light gray wool or stone will work and just place two of them right here we're gonna have a window there and then you're gonna take these some bricks one two three right here and then left of that add two right there then you're gonna go in a block and place one right there and then the same thing with the light gray wool or stone whatever you want to use this will be an entrance here and this is going to go under the glass and the entrance itself and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine nine blocks right there with that and the other entrance is going to be the exact same all right on the end of that there you're going to come up another stone brick right there and then looking down at it you'll see that it comes out by a block, add two more right there, and then go in a block, add one right there. Alright, now right here, this shrubbery here, which is going to look nice once it's done. This, again, with this block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then left of that, like on the other side, a stone brick here, you're going to come out by a block. And then two more here and then in a block one right there so again the same as the other side so that's what's going to make this build easy on the front side all right so again right here you have this block here for the entrance it's going to be the same as the other side and then you're going to have a stone brick right here and then come out a block three right there and then you're going to go in right here two there and then again you're going to have a little window here so 
to these here and then you're gonna come up right here and this is gonna be 40 blocks so from right here going left will be 40 blocks all the way down to here and then the same as the other end on the corner you're gonna come out a block and do three here turn this way and it'll be three along this side just like so alright now on the left side right here will be 50 blocks so you're gonna go in here going towards the left towards the back will be 50 alright and now you should be at the back corner then you're gonna come out a block one two three and then you're going to turn towards the back here It'll be three across this way you're going to go in a block one two three four and right here will be a back door so two of these blocks there and then you're going to have two stone brick here and then going to the left here you're going to add one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve blocks right there Alright, now along the back here, you're going to have 30 blocks. So from here, going to the left, counting this block here actually, counting this block would be 30. So going this way here will be 30. And then right here will be a bay door or shipment door here. and again with this block here just to kind of mark it out we'll go back later on and we'll add a bit more detail on the underside but this will be one two three four five six seven eight nine nine blocks for that door there and then you're gonna come up right here one two three the stone bricks and then another door here which will be also nine blocks Alright, now once you've got that space there, nine blocks, then you're going to take your stone bricks and come up right here. And this right here will be 15 blocks. So this here, going to the left, 15 blocks right there. Alright, now we're going to have a little area here, and we'll come back to this, all this little details later on in the video. But this is going to be like a little... Uh, disposable area for the trash you're gonna go in right here one two three four five six seven eight all right and then you're gonna have 15 blocks counting th this one right here counting this one will be 15 so going to the left be 15 blocks and then we're going to have a smaller uh, little shipment door here, which will be one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then on the left side of that, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five of the stone brick. And then you're going to have just a single door here. And then left of that, one, two, three of the stone brick. All right. Behind that, you're going to have one, two, three, four of the stone brick. And then along the back here will be 20 blocks. So again, counting this corner block right here to the left will be 20 blocks. And then on this corner, the same as the others, we're going to come out a block, one, two, three, turn this way, and also three along this side. You're going to go in a block right here, and this right here. Well, I don't have a sign here, but I'll speed it up. So right here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 47, 48, 49, and 50. 50 right there. So pretty much just go all the way to the front corner here where we started off at. Well, all right, now on the front right here, what we're going to do is we are going to do the entrance 
right here on the left side now the right entrance right over here will be the exact same as this one so grab your black stained glass full blocks and come up by one two three right here and then also right here one two three once you've got that then go right here in the middle one two three and now grab the black stained glass panes this will be your actual door one two three here one two three here and then just simply come up right here you guys can use a different colored uh, glass pane if you want to to kind of separate a little bit more break it up a little bit more if you need to alright now once you've got that then grab your smooth res red sandstone now again you guys can use brick on this come up by one two three four right there and then right above this here grab the brown wool or the sandstone whatever block you guys be using so this here will come on across to here and this will be two layers just like so alright now once you've got that then now go ahead and take this block here and come on up one two three and four one two three and four alright now once you've got that then you can go ahead and come up one two three four and this as well now this pillar here will be a little bit taller quite a bit taller than this one here but just go ahead and bring that on up to right there for now alright now what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and do the same thing here on this one alright now once you have both sides the same just like this then now go ahead and come to the middle here and you're gonna grab this block here whatever block you guys use and you're gonna come right here and you're gonna two two layers so one there and one right up under it like that and again guys whatever blocks you guys be using or texture pack let me know down below in the comments it will help others as they build alright now right here what we're gonna do is grab the black stain full blocks and just pretty much fill this right here in alright so now once you've got that then come right over here to this part here and you're gonna grab the smooth quartz slab and you're gonna double these up and now using the smooth quartz slab doing it like this it it's smooth now depending on what texture pack you guys be using again let me know down below if you use the regular quartz block right here it won't be smooth so if you double up the smooth quartz slab it's smooth so what you're gonna do is you're gonna double up right there and then you're gonna grab the smooth quartz stairs you're gonna place them like this right on top of that and then you're gonna do double up right here and then you're gonna do the same thing right here so this will come up double this up here stairs along here and this is what you should have now All right now once you have that now come right over here and just go ahead bring this on up all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brick block whatever you're using and we're gonna add 13 blocks to this corner and to that corner down there so right here is gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen again this here will be the same right down there so this here just simply take on up 
Let me know what you think of this tutorial. If you have any more requests, leave them down below. A thumbs up would also be appreciated. And again, let me know in the comments what texture pack you're using and what blocks did you use other than me. Alright, now right here will also come up the same height as this. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to grab this block here. And this will be the same height as that right there. Just like so. And then now from there, this right here will come on down to here. And pretty much just fill this in right here with this block. And you're going to do the same thing right down here. So again, this here will come up 13 blocks. And then this here will come up the same as that side. Alright, now this is what you should have. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the smooth quartz slab and we're going to place two of them right there and then two of them right here. And then now from there, just pretty much grab this block and this will go all the way down like that. And then now just simply take this on across, connect that up, and just fill that in right there as well. Alright, now as you see, I went ahead and done the letters, and we'll go over that in just a second. But first, what we're going to do is grab the stone button, and come right here, and place one here, and one right here. That will be the little sensor above the door to make the door open up. Just a little bit of extra detail like I always do here and here. Alright, now once you've got that, then now let's go ahead and do these letters. So, I'll be using the orange concrete. And this here will be from here, one, two, three, four blocks from here. And above these letters, one, two, three, four. So, these letters will be three wide and five tall. Just trying to help you place these letters on here correctly. Alright. Now what we're going to do is find the middle. Which will be right here. You're going to take this and come straight up. Go ahead and mark it. That way it makes it easier. So once you find the middle right here. Again, four blocks under the letters, four blocks above the letters. Alright, let's do this L first. Through this way. One, two, three, four, this way. These are extremely simple. You can pretty much look at it right there. Pause the video if you need to and just copy it. Over here, the same thing. I mean, these are extremely simple to do so I'm gonna go over these extremely fast I guess as I do this I'll just talk with you so again guys if you need any any help or request leave it down below this was a request on this Hobby Lobby you don't know what Hobby Lobby is, it's pretty much a store that's got a lot of paint, uh, crafts, art stuff. Pretty much it's what it is, just a store that's got a bunch of like sculpting and a bunch of crafts and stuff like that. Okay, so this Y and this L here is going to be one two three three blocks apart all the other ones is one block apart so right here from this middle you're going to do this Y and I really didn't see any other Hobby Lobbies 
uh, built in Minecraft on YouTube, so this will be another first on my channel, which I really enjoy doing. I have a lot of a lot of builds, a lot of things on my channel that are original and nobody else has ever done. Alright. Let me do this right here. And finish this off with this H. Alright. And you should have this right here. Uh, you see this H, you have one block from here, and right over here on this Y, you have one block from here, just like so. Alright, now once you've got that, grab your light block, and place this light block right on these orange letters, all the way down. Alright, now once you have it all lit up, with the light block then now go ahead and grab the smooth quartz slab and you're gonna come right up here and you're gonna double these up and then now with the stairs we're gonna pretty much do the same thing here instead of having them face this way we're gonna do the opposite face them upside down like this these are going to go all the way down. And then you're going to do the same thing right here. Alright, now what we're going to do come right over here grab your black stained glass full blocks and again what we're about to do here will be the same on the other side as well you're gonna come right here and come up one two three and then once you've got that then you're gonna take your smooth quartz stairs bring them upside down two of them right there and then you're gonna take this block here whatever block that you're using and you're gonna come up right here this is gonna come on across like so and then you're just gonna take this all the way up to the top here this here will be on across this will go on up so again do the same thing on the other side Alright, now once you've got that, then now go ahead and grab the white terracotta. Again, choose something similar to this color, something that's an off-white. Now once you've got that, then you're going to come right over here. And again, the same thing will be on the other side as well. So once you've got this brought up right here, instead of taking this right here behind it, it'll be ugly because you can see through this glass and through the stair there. So what we're going to do is going to grab this block here and we're just going to come up to right here. Alright, and then you're going to take this block on up by 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Alright, now you should have from the top 1, 2, 3, and 4 should have four from the top there alright so what you're going to do now is you're going to take this straight back to this corner right here and just pretty much fill this in fill all this in with this block here you're going to have this white is a strip and double that up and this will go all the way down well, alright now once you have that on both sides then what you're gonna do 
Again, this corner will be the same what we're going to do here on the other corner as well. So we're going to grab this block right here and it's going to come on up until you get even with this and then you're going to add one, two, three to it. And this is going to wrap around the same height. Just like that right there. So go ahead and do this on this corner down there. All right, now once you have both corners the same, then go ahead and grab your smooth quartz stairs and your slab. And what I'm about to do here, you're going to do the same on the other side as well. So grab your stair and it's going to hang off by one upside down right here, just like this. And this here will be brought all the way down to right here. So that will be all the way down, connected up. And then once you've got that, then you're going to come right here. You're going to take this. One, two, three, four, five. Some of this will be hidden away when we do the roof. We're just blocking that off there. That way we can take this slab and just place it on top like this right here. Alright, now once you have this side the same as the other, then what you're going to do is come right over here and pretty much just fill in this wall right here. Nothing too special over here, so you're going to grab this block and this is going to come up the same as what we just done. And this is going to be like this right here. This is going to come up. Again, the same height is right here. And then you're going to grab this stair. And it's going to hang off by one just like that. Just like what we've done here. So again, fill in this wall right here. The same as what we've done here. And it will go all the way down. To this end right down here. So fill that in. Alright, now once you have this wall up like this right here and the other one over there the same, what you're going to do now is you're going to do the same thing on that back corner as what you've done right here. So again, you're going to grab this block and you're going to grab this half slab and you're going to come up the same height and you're going to put this half slab right on top. So right here again, this corner will go up the same height as that one. And then this half slab will go right on top. Alright, now once you've got this corner here, just like this, then you're going to do the same thing right over here on this corner as well. Alright, now once you have this up just like this, then now what you're going to do is you're going to come right here. You're going to have a wall filled in right here. This will go all the way down to right here. This will come up with this right here doubled up like what we've been doing. But this will end right here. So whenever you go to right here, this wall, you will not have this half slab. You will not have this white stripe along the back here. It'll stop right here. So just go ahead and take this up. And like always, you're going to have it level with this. So just go ahead and fill that in real quick. Alright, now once you have your wall filled in like this, and also remember to bring your stairs all the way across the top, upside down, like what we've been doing. Once you've got that, then now, you're just going to take this wall on up. 
just like that. This stair will wrap around like this. And then again, we're not going to do this white stripe. So this here will just go straight up. So let's go ahead and fill this in really fast. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this back door right here. Go on the inside and place an iron door. Then this here will come on up. like so and then once you've got that then this go ahead and come on down this here will come on down here self-explanatory fill that in right there this stair will wrap around going all the way down across the top now for this door right here, choose your block of choice. In this texture pack, the end stone bricks is what I'll be using. You guys can choose whatever. You're going to go on the inside here. And you're going to place this block like this right here. And you're going to go up by five. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Once you've got that. And place a trip wire hook right here in the middle. This here will come on across. And then you're going to take a granite slab or a black half slab. And you're going to hang off it by one. You're going to come across. Just like so. Now this is what you should have. Alright, now you're going to take this wall. And this wall will go on down. Again, self-explanatory. Pretty simple. It'll come on down to here. Again, you'll just simply fill in this wall. Right there. And then you'll just take this stair upside down and bring it all the way across the top. Alright, now once you have this right here. Then what you're going to need to do is come right down here to this door right here. And we're going to go on the inside. Again, the iron door. All right. Now once you've got that, then now grab this block here. And you're going to come on up. And yes, we're going to go ahead and put the half slab in here. But it's going to end on this end down here all right so this will come on across like that this here will be here all right this will come on up again self-explanatory to be even with this here all right this will come on across Alright, that right there will be filled in. Down here will be filled in as well. Alright, now once you've got that, that filled in, then you're going to take the stair right here and do like what we've been doing. This will go on down just like so. And then when you do this wall right here, this will come straight up and you're not going to do the white stripe. This will just come straight up like this and this will wrap around just like so. Just like what we've done earlier. This will come on down. Again, self-explanatory. And that right there will be filled in as well. Well, right, now once you have this right here, then what you're going to need to do is just pretty much take this wall right here all the way down until you get to this door right here. And just simply take this right here 
Again, self-explanatory, like I've been saying. Really can't mess up. Alright. Fill that in right there. You're going to take this stair. You're going to wrap it around. Bring it all the way across the top. And now for this door here. There's two of them here as you see. So both of them are going to be the exact same. You're going to grab the anisite stairs. And they're going to be upside down right here. Again, right there as well. You're going to go on the inside. And this will be up by eight blocks. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will come on across. So fill that in. That'll be your door. Place the tripwire hook right here in the middle. And just pretty much take this wall. Again, it's really simple. This will come on down. You're going to fill all this in right here. Just like so. And then what you're going to do above this door, the same as what you've done above that little door there, grab a black half slab. Come up right here. Hang off by one. Just like that right there. So go ahead and fill this in. Bring the Stir all the way down. Go ahead and wrap that wall around to here. Connect that up. And then do your door on this side as well. Alright, now once you have all this filled in, it should look just like this right here. Alright, now once you've got that, grab your Wall of choice, I'm using the sandstone wall in this texture pack because it's yellow and it looks a little bit more caution. Just place one right there and then come right over here to these doors and you're going to place one here, one block from here. Place one here in between those and then one right here. Alright, now this area here I took the anisite and I mixed it in with other gray blocks and I came out until I had two blocks here. Made a little area, pretty simple uh, dumpster pad area, nothing too fancy. So make sure you do that right there in that corner. Also go ahead and place this here. Well, Alright, now doing the top of this, filling it in, I'll be using the door right. You guys can choose whatever that you want. This block here will come to right here. This level. And then you're going to get the anisite stairs and those will go right here. And they will go all the way down. And you're going to carry these all the way around the top of the building. All the way around up against that quartz stair and again this here will come to this level the entire roof fill that in and then when you get to right here you're going to take this block take this carry that out like that that way it looks better and over here you're going to do the same thing so just pretty much take this on down like this right here just like so and again this here will come along like this and then the stair will go on down all right now once you've got that then this right here will come straight back This right here will be just like this. So I'll double this up right here, up here, fill this in. 
as you see it's got a little bit of a different texture different color you might say so if I take these two out and double this up you see what I'm saying doubling it up just gives a better texture to it so I'm glad that it done that that way that you guys can see what I was saying alright so once you've got that well actually let me bring this back or it's even with this just like that this will come up like this and then now what you're going to do is you're going to take this block the door right the same as what you're going to be using down here and it will come down to this level it will go on down this here will come on up right here just like so this right here go ahead and fill it in this here will come on across just like what we've done on the other side double this up and then from there actually right here grab this stair bring the stair across that'll look a little bit better to there this here will be filled in just like so this up top will be filled in with that so go ahead and fill that in real quick and fill in the top of this well, alright now this is what you should guys have up here all filled in and this is what it looks like over here as well make sure you all put these AC units just random things up top to bring it all together nobody likes a plain looking surface you gotta have something up here to give it more detail more life to it I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please hit that like thank you again for watching and please Guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this build. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.